Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Dynamics 365 Business Central Dynamics Nav Project Manager and Senior Consultant here at Western Computer. In this video, I'm going to talk about recurring sales lines. Recurring sales lines help you with those customers that have repeatable orders. So that way your customer service rep or your salesperson does not have to continually retype the sales order and its related items over and over and over. So we can actually store that repeatable order by customer within the system, so that way it's much easier for your sales rep to enter the order and process it through. So let's take a look and how we could set that up. So if I go to a customer record, go into the record, and go to navigate, sales and we have an option of recurrent sales lines this is where we're going to set up all the items that pertain to a repeatable order so based on the code and in this example i have a conference room set up so my code is conference room description conference room setup i could put a start from and date don't necessarily need it not mandatory but it's something if you need to track otherwise you can delete those blank payment method you could set up the payment method that's always used or for this specific order, also as well as the terms. So maybe it's a little bit different than outside of the standard norms. You may want to say, okay, when he does order this conference room, makes an order for the conference room, I'm going to give him 15 days rather than the 30 days. What's the details? I'm going to go up to here to the card, and based on the conference room code, this customer typically buys six chairs, one table, two lamps, and one whiteboard. Of course, you can see I go on and on and on, so it could be much lengthy, but just to get the example of a small conference room setup, this is what your customer would typically purchase off you. And this may be a repeatable order that maybe they make once a month, multiple times a year. The point being is you get a pre-setup of lines and quantities made for this customer. So now that I got the details, I'm gonna close this out. That is stored under the customer's record. And since I'm on the customer, I could just go to new document. I'm gonna create a new sales order. And then from the sales order, I'm gonna to go to actions, functions, get my recurring sales lines. So this is gonna go out and get what I already set up. And you see here, I could have multiple codes for different types of orders for this specific customer, but because I only have one, it's only showing one. But in theory, I could have two, three, four, as many as I want. So I'm simply choosing conference room, click OK, and you'll see those lines with its respective quantities automatically populated into my sales order. Now that it's on the sales order, there's nothing more to do other than hand it off to warehousing for processing. Hope this helps. Thank you for spending some time watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks again.